everyone, welcome to another video. We are in Severn Snowdonia today. Me, Simon, Di from Camping Wild with a Dragon, and yeah. Damien from Bulldog Badger. We're going to take a hike up to Cadden Idris and we're going to do a wild camp. So let's see how this one goes. This is uh, the, the night I remembered it. We're slowly making our way up now. There's the boys. Bringing up the rear. We've got to keep continuing on these steps. So far up and then I think it levels up a bit. And you walk around the left to the, to the lake. And die up the further back. It's the first one we've been in Cadbury And the scenery now is starting to open up. We come up the first part of the walk, and it's a hell of a lot of uh, steps. And as we get in here to the lake, it's actually opened up a bit now. So, I'll pan around. There's Mark up here. Uh, absolutely stunning location. There's a the boys. Now and again, it's a bit of a, a cold, a cold wind. But when the wind dies down, it's lovely and warm. Yeah. Well, this place is like the Brecon Beacons on steroids and uh, a lot more rugged as you can see. Absolutely stunning. I'm 
Australia, isn't it? Stanley, man. I can see water. I can see water. Yeah. We're at um, Clin Kai, you know. There's Cadden Idris in the background. Safe to say, it's my favourite mountain in Wales. Been here before. That is absolutely stunning. So what we're going to do? We are going to. There's a path up there. We're going to follow the path up to the top, right the way round. And over to the summit. So let's crack on. So again folks, what we've done, we've ditched our packs and we've hidden them in some rocks over there somewhere. Because um, we don't want to be walking up there with full packs on. So we've hidden the packs. We're going to walk up to the summit now. So yeah, onwards and upwards. You never know, we might get to the summit sometime today. Oh, love the nice. This is awesome. Bit of a scramble. Even got snow. Bit of snow. We've got four seasons in one day today. Look at that for a, for a few guys. You wouldn't want to fall down that gully. Oh, it's fantastic. Right, that way. We've come from down that side of the lake, up around, across here, and we got to walk up to the top, back down, up at the summit of Pengadu's over there. So when we come back down, we're thinking we're having a bit of a scramble coming down that gully and then back around the lake to where we're going to pitch our tents. By coming down that gully there, hopefully we can come down there, we'll see what it's like when we get around there, and uh, save us a bit of time, save us coming back. All the way back on this way again. So we'll see, well, we'll see if it's uh, accessible when we get around there. Check out this gully. <laughs> Reminds me of a girl I used to know back in the day. <laughs> Tell you what, if you went down there, you'd be never, never to be seen again. Yeah, oh, yeah.
Right then, Damien, are you going to come on the next trip with us? Absolutely. Loved it. Love it, yeah. Die? Of course I am. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Just love it. What about you, Mark? You'll get. He's our guide. Yeah. Mark's tall, isn't he? Right then, folks. A bit of a bit of an update to where we are. That's the summit up there. So not that far to go now. But have a look at this for a view. I'm stood right on the edge. And that is one hell of a drop. That is awesome. on this path now up to the summit just a final push now so let's get it sounds easy doesn't it let's get it done sounds easy doesn't it? it is easy what's the matter with you right we're not far away from the summit now guys just up there. And for anyone who hasn't um, done Cadre Idris, fantastic mountain, or a fantastic two or three mountains. But yeah, it's not easy. And, but if you're in good health then, it shouldn't be a problem really. We're going to make our way up now and I'll bring you back then. Oh God. Bloody hell. That's tougher than I thought that is. Oh. See the trick point. <sighs> Nearly there, guys. <sighs> oh, bloody hell. Tired. There's a summit. Oh, 
Whew. Another summit done. Awesome. Well, that's the summit. We're coming back down now. And then also up Cadderidge, you've got this rescue shelter. Always handy if you're stuck. Butchers in there. Right, guys, I'm in the Kada Idris shelter. Yeah, so um, if you got in trouble, then this would definitely be a relief from the weather. Somewhere to sit and get warm or warm up. And have a bit of a dry. Yeah, so... Ideal place. Just come outside the shelter now and in the distance there's good old Snowden. If I pan round that way, that is the seaside town of Barmouth. And if I zoom in up there, it's Simon, Damien and Dye on the summit. Right, we've had a look around now. And I reckon we're going to head back down. How's that? Shall I get down? Here he comes, die boy. He believed for his own funeral, that man. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you now. <laughs> I'm sure you said that long before. I've said it before, I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> right then, folks. Making our way back down now. And I think we're going to use an alternative route back down because we don't want to walk over that bad boy again. So when we get there, I'll show you what I mean. Because we're going down there on the scree path. This is going to be fun. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Do you go down there? It's like minute that way we're meant to go. What? Down there. Yeah, this looks a better way, doesn't it? Well, this is the easier way down, isn't it? Instead of walking all the way back around there and down. Yep, it's all downhill.
Let's take a look at this now. We come from down the corner, made our way down around that way, down the side of the lake, and we're going to walk down there and go and pick up our rucksacks. I reckon that saved an hour and a half on our um, return journey. Otherwise, we would have had to walk all the way over these peaks and back down again. So, yeah, if you ever come here and you want a bit of a shortcut back, come down the corner and make your way round. How beautiful is Allo? And the lake is almost perfectly still as well. Right, let's make our way to the end of the lake and get our rucksacks. Right, this is where we left the bags. So yeah, pick them up now. I'm gonna take them back over to the side of the lake and set up camp for the night. Right, time to get some water. Right then folks, this is home for the night. Dolly's down there, well, he might be moving, I don't know, yeah? Right. Still thinking about it. He's on the property market. <laughs> Damien's by there. And I reckon we're by your, by your yeah. side, are we? By there somewhere? Is there? All right, yeah. <laughs> Stay there, you outsider. <laughs> and I do. <laughs> so Karen says. I brought you a pair. Magic candles. Yeah. Magic. It's like a magician's wand. All three, same time. Yeah. And look at that, folks. What was that for a camping spot? Right then. Come on, Simon, let's get the tent up. So this is the yard we've got to go up half dome to Plus, and it's the second time we've used this. So I got the same tent. Nature hike, Cloud Peak 2. And he's lucky he's still got it because it almost blew in that bloody lake. 
we have to rescue him. We haven't seen anyone down here for about, well, how long have we been back from our walk? An hour? We haven't seen no one, have we? What? We haven't seen no one down here. It's been a place for us, haven't we? Just chilling up on the tent um, after a long Grueling six and a half mile hike, so pretty raw, pretty tired, um, pretty cold now as well. Temperature just dropped, we've had snow on and off all day. Yeah, I'm just sitting in my bag, just chilling out, trying to keep warm. Um, tonight's food, no fancy um, dehydrated meals this time, just um, a can of bean. Basmati rice, which I can just stir fry, just warm it through, and uh, some pre cooked chicken breast. And basically, just all goes in the pan, a bit of water, and uh, I'll just warm it through on my, uh, on my stove, and then I might have uh, a pot noodle as well. Yeah, so that's uh, tonight's uh, food sorting anyway. Still sat in my sleeping bag. Just warmed up my uh, chicken and rice. I've got to be fair, that's not bad. So if you're ever thinking of doing like a, a quick meal for the camping, just get a packet of, uh, packet of rice you can stir fry with a bit of water. And a bit of... Uh, chicken or whatever cut meat you're going to want to use. Quite tasty that. Nice quick easy camping. Sorry. <laughs> quick easy camping meal. This don't cost much money. Gosh. I think I'm going to push a boat on our bed as well. I'm starving. Burned off some calories today walking up there. It's a long walk, that was hard walk. So. This. Jet boils on, and tonight I'm having the wicked kitchen spicy, smoky, dreamy mac macaroni in smooth sauce with jalapenos, red pepper, and spring onions. Yes, yeah, so I've got it out of Tesco's, similar to a pot noodle style meal. So yes, yeah, give that a go. I'll try anything once. Well, that was an eventful day. Hard uh, going. We're all knackered. And uh, it's time for bed. See you all tomorrow in the morning.
huge one. Morning. Morning, Damien. Good morning, how are we? Alright, thanks. Morning, guys. And welcome back to Southern Snowdonia. As you can see, the sun's coming up. I've got a bit of a time lapse going on. Don't know what it'll turn out like. But have a look at that. The sun is on the mountains. What a beautiful um, view to wake up to. Tell you what folks, if you haven't been here before, thoroughly recommend this place, absolutely stunning. So yeah, check that out. Right, let's get the uh, jet ball on and get a coffee on the go. Don't know if I've shown you these before. Cafe Express. A filter coffee in a bag. Cheap as anything, but a lovely cup of coffee. Right, Jet Boyle's doing his stuff. See you later. They say if you spend a night on Cadre Idris, you either come back down a poet or a madman. And he's definitely a madman. <laughs> 